Hey, what is up, everybody? I have started a brand new playthrough on The Witcher 3. I just love adventuring through the world of The Witcher, right? It's beautiful, the setting, the music, all of it. It's been one of my favorite all-time games. Now, as I started a new playthrough, I realized there's a lot of tips and tricks I've learned over the years of playing The Witcher since its release back in 2015. So I wanted to make a video on some really cool tips and tricks for newcomers of the game because ever since the Netflix TV series dropped, the Witcher, there's been a lot of people that have never played the game that have jumped right into it and they want some tips and tricks and see what can help them out. So I'm making this video not only for a beginner's guide to help a lot of people out, but if you're a returning player, I hope a lot of these tips help you out because I know a lot of friends of mine that played the game and I told them some tips. They had no idea they could even do that. So a lot of you guys may jump in the game for the first time, especially at a higher difficulty, and you're just going to be like, Fuck. So then you're going to be like, well, I need to turn the difficulty down or I just need to, I don't know, change my play style or get better gear and weapons because it is an RPG. You're going to build your character up. So I hope a lot of these tips help you guys out. If you're new to the channel and you want to support the channel, consider subscribing, you guys. If you enjoy the video, thumbs up would be appreciated. But let's just jump right into the video and go over these quick tips. <laughs> All right, so my first tip I have for you guys is saving and meditation. I cannot stress how crucial it is to save in this game, especially at harder level difficulties. So when you're just starting off, get in the habit of saving constantly. So when you die, you don't lose all of your progression. You can go 20 minutes all the way up to an hour of progressing through the game and exploring and getting all this stuff and then come across an enemy and die and then realize you didn't save and have to start all the way back from your last save point. It sucks. Get in the habit of saving, you guys. It'll really help out. Meditating is another huge thing, especially before boss battles, because it replenishes your health, your potions, and your grenades, as long as you have alcohol on you to replenish potions. Now, the other thing is, when you're playing on Death March, which is hardest difficulty, it will not replenish your health at all. It'll just replenish potions and grenades, and you can meditate for as long as you want. You don't have to meditate for an X amount of time for this work. You can only meditate for a little bit if you want to. So those are two huge things that you're going to want to do right off the start of the game and get used to. Now, my next tip I have for you guys is loot everything you guys see. Seriously, pick it up, take it back, sell it, dismantle it, whatever, because everything can be broken down into things for crafting and whatever else you need and or sold for a coin. That way you can upgrade different things like roach in yourself but we'll get into that in a minute so when you go and you have anything more than five that you don't need then just sell it sell it for coin or break it down if you need crafting materials from it like a lot of times you'll just get a gold ring that has a ruby in it you can cr break it down and get a gold nugget and a ruby for crafting a lot of this stuff is important don't just throw things away or think, oh, I don't need that. Just pick it up and go to a merchant or an armor smith or a weapon smith and just sell things or dismantle them. Now, that brings me to my next point, Roach. You're going to want to upgrade your horse, Roach. Now, when you go to a merchant or, like I said, a weapon smith or an armor smith, a lot of times they sell like saddlebags for Roach, which means you can sit there and upgrade Roach's inventory or upgrade your inventory by putting saddlebags on Roach. I recommend doing this right off the bat because, like I said, you're going to want to loot everything in the game. So you're going to want as much inventory space as possible. So this will really help out. Now, the next tip I have for you guys is your Ken and Gourmet. Now, your Ken ability is a sign. Now, when you use that, it puts a shield around Geralt. So when an enemy hits you, it gives where you don't lose any health. It gives you a little bit of a shield, and it gives you a chance to strike at that enemy. Now, as soon as your stamina bar you know, regenerates, then you can use the Ken as much as possible. So it's something that you're definitely going to want to use, especially in higher level difficulties, because enemies are going to be coming at you left and right in high level difficulties, and they're going to come at you in greater numbers. This is definitely a sign that you're going to want to use to help you out if you're not used to it. Now, also, the Gourmet is a passive ability you want to put a point in, because it can help uh, eating food regenerate some... Um, health over 20 minutes 
and time, right? So you got 20 minutes and you can regenerate health. That is a huge thing just by eating food. So keep that in mind, you guys. When you eat food, you got 20 minutes of health regeneration right there. So that is something you definitely gonna wanna put in right off the bat. And that is something I always do when I start a game, especially at higher level difficulties. Now, this also brings me to my next point where you're gonna wanna find places of power because in places of power, and keep in mind, there's always enemies lurking at places of power that you're gonna have to kill and deal with before you reach these power stones. Now, when you do that, not only will it buff that said sign, it could be Yarden, it could be Ken, it could be Igni, anything that this stone is pertained to, now it'll help boost that sign for an x amount of time now it also when it's your first time coming to the stone it'll also grant you one ability point so keep that in mind when you get that ability point you can use that right into your skill tree and you can put anything in your passive like your gourmet slot or you can help upgrade your ken ability um or ken sign or igni sign anything else so keep that in mind the more places of power you find the more ability points you're going to get so look for them around the map also that brings me to my next tip i got for you guys monster nests search those out why because those are like little treasure hordes i swear you go in there and you're gonna find some really cool stuff you can find diagrams you can find you know rings anything like that that you can break down for crafting and it's just something that is really helpful when you find a monster nest because they have a lot of goodies inside of them and a lot of times monster nests can be found right next to places of power so keep that in mind and like i showed you earlier that's where all the places of power were you can find them and as you can see these two here you can see that there's two monster nests right next to these places of power like i said so as soon as you get that ability you have that monster nest you can destroy and get that stuff all those goodies out of there so the other thing i have for you guys is when you travel this next tip you're gonna want to um uh, keep in mind that you may travel further than what you intended and if you feel like hey where's the next fast travel pole all of a sudden you pull up your map and you realize you're very far away from a fast travel pole you're near the edge of the map just walk near the edge of the map go all the way you'll get prompted saying you know you've pretty much gone too far and then the map will pull up and then you can fast travel anywhere on the map this is very helpful tip especially if you're venturing off and you're just trying to explore new things because you'd be surprised what you find near the edge of the map so keep that in mind that way you don't have to waste 10 15 minutes of trotting all the way back to a nearest fast travel pole so the next tip i have for you guys is your best area this is something you're going to want to be in a lot why because you're going to be studying the weaknesses of your enemies they're going to be weak to certain oils certain signs and certain grenades they're not all weak to the exact same thing there's different things that are really going to make an enemy you know i should say make or break them so always be in your best area to see what they're weak to because it's going to help you out in the long run especially at higher level difficulties it makes a huge difference now the next tip i also have for you guys is make sure you're weapons are enhanced in your armor especially before certain battles and always make sure your gear is repaired like your weapons and your armor always make sure all your stuff is repaired because if you go into battle and your stuff is just not in good shape it will not help you out in the long run if anything you're going to end up dying especially at high level difficulties because you always want to make sure your stuff is repaired and you want to make sure you have enhancements on your weapons and armor as much as possible when you come across a weapon or armor smith they usually have a grinding stone or an armor bench that you can go to that way you can enhance that gear there so that is all i have for you guys on tips and tricks i hope this helped out and i hope this was informative if you have any questions do not be scared to leave them down in the comments and i will do my best to help you guys out if you have any questions on anything now i have other videos coming out with early game uh weapons like silver swords that we can find i have a lot more stuff coming in general but um you can follow me on twitter at hambone gaming that is all i have for you guys on this video so i will catch you all on the next one later